Perhaps it's the popularity of shows like CSI and NCIS on television. Number one is the location that you're at right now. But either way, it was wall-to-wall -wall people when the new Anoka County Medical Examiner's Office recently opened its doors to the public for the first time. It's quite amazing. I Dr. Janice Amatuzio is one of the nation's premier forensic pathologists and is the county's chief medical examiner. I was amazed. We had over 300 people when we opened it to the public. It was just astonishing. You know, everybody is fascinated by this. I really see this as um, a manifestation of the way all of us, the way, the way humanity is evolving. Because there's such a forensic fascination. You know, let's face it, medicine, science is giving us input into the real mysteries of life. The office is called Midwest Medical Examiners because although it's located in Ramsey in Anoka County, the office provides death investigation and medical examination for counties across the state and also Wisconsin. It's an innovative way to provide unparalleled forensic pathology services while sharing operating costs. Angie Chalmers is the office manager. I think uh, there's a lot of curiosity out there with people, just what do medical examiners do and the thought behind it, why do people actually end up at the medical examiner's office? So what is it like to work there? What is it like to actually, you know, have to go there and, and I think that people really really just want to know. So The new facility is a far cry from the former offices in the basement of a local hospital. I live in Coon Rapids and I do work at Merce. Okay. And I heard about the open house and I had the day off and it's a wonderful opportunity to see what the whole building is like. From the entry to the family viewing room to the offices, this building features the calming effect of natural woods and earth tones. We want it to be very comforting, very um, inviting. You know, it's a difficult time for people when they come here for the most part. So we want when they walk in to be, you know, happy to be here and that they, they feel comforted and it's, you know, a warm, inviting um, atmosphere. So. Dr. Amatuzio had a lot to do with the look and feel of the new office. This is my baby, let me tell you. It feels like my home. <laughs> but it, I, I do have a great sense of ownership. I mean, when I came up here in 89, it was a dream, you know, that we could really create something wonderful here. and. To have a place like this to work out of is astonishing. And I am so incredibly pleased. The facility is nothing short of state of the art. At 19,000 square feet, it features the very latest in technology and innovation. There are four autopsy stations with overhead cameras and monitors and a viewing theater for forensic pathology students. The office has created a unique partnership with Hamlin University to create an anthropology lab. Overhead, there's a mobile hoist that provides for the safe and secure transport of bodies between stations and the new Lodox imaging machine. It alone could be a real difference maker in determining cause of death because it combines the best features of an X-ray and CAT scan. Designed to catch diamond thieves in the mines of South Africa, the Lodox can scan a body in under 20 seconds and provide a multi-layered digital image that shows bone and soft tissue. Those digital layered images can then be peeled away, for example, to follow the path of a bullet through the body. This isn't being extravagant. It is a very needed thing because I think in any of our, any, any questionable cases now, uh, people are intelligent enough if they're on a jury or are involved in a case, they're asking what is your forensic, you know, what is your forensic evidence? They want to know. It must be handled correctly. They need the space to do their job correctly, and this is absolutely fantastic. The Midwest Medical Examiner's Office in Anoka County typically handles 500 autopsies and 2,500 death investigations every year. There are currently four forensic pathologists on staff and two part-time investigators. So why were so many people here? Well, let me put it another way. The commissioners of Anoka County, they are wise, they have insight, and they're visionaries. They were thinking ahead. They didn't think for today. They thought for 20 and 30 and 40 years from now. 
with what they have done by saying, yes, we will build this, and we will build this new sheriff's crime lab, what they are saying is that we believe in education. We believe in the search for knowledge. And I have the sense that if we could fast forward ourselves 50 years into the future, and we look at some of the leading forensic scientists in the state or in the nation, they're going to come back and say, I had my start in Anoka County. That's where I really learned how this work is done. And I not only learned the science, I learned the art of cooperation and communication. Because the truth of the matter is, you have to rely on the wisdom that's collective in the group. And that's how you get at the truth. You see, the truth is relentless. We will get there. It's just a matter of time.